comes to mind when I think of our poverty? I think of homeless people and I think of people who have had bad situations in their lives, situations typically out of their control, and they've lived um, with a standard of living not equitable to the rest of society. I think people who can't afford a PS2. A male who is down and out, probably alcoholic, and has given up. What comes to mind when I think of the word global poverty? I think of all the third world countries in South America and Africa, especially Africa, where I know that millions of people starve to death. Like when I lived in Venezuela, there were children that would go to sleep not having anything to eat, ever. And they were literally starving. Uh, I've been to Africa once, to Kampala, Uganda, and uh, again to Lawala, Kenya. There, there was rampant sickness, uh, there are no doctors. Uh, there, in fact, there was one ambulance in the entire district for 50,000 people. Uh, there, were, uh, uh, there was one clinic there that Doctors Without Borders staffed, and that was only three days a week with two physicians who came part-time. So, you know, no access really to sanitation or medical care or to education. Oh. Why aren't Americans as motivated to help third world countries? And I think it's because we don't see it. Do I think Americans are interested in working on the problem of world poverty? Well, of course, you'd have to say which Americans. These Americans don't have any idea what priorities ought to be in general. They change all the time. I'm sure today priorities would have to do with fighting terrorism, and they would have to do with security, they would have to do with uh, the, the war in Iraq. Uh, these are what happen to be most in people's minds. If you were asked the question after the tsunami, if you'll recall, the U.S. government wasn't responding, and the American public were outraged that we weren't doing anything, and the government was almost forced to react out of public opinion. I do think that uh, homeless people in America are ruining the picture of true poverty. Whatever their daily incomes are, are much higher than uh, homeless people in, in uh, the continent of Africa. How much money or food can you gather every day? Maybe $10 or $20. I mean, people in, in the continent of Africa, they can't even have a rotten cheeseburger from a trash can because there are no trash cans or rotten cheeseburgers like they are here in America. Okay, what'd you eat today? A ham sandwich and uh, pancakes for breakfast. I had, I had a hamburger for lunch and I had uh, a meatloaf dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans. I disagree. I think Americans are, um, uh, are motivated to help poverty. In my job, I've seen in the last six months to a year uh, such an increase among students in concern for what's going on, say, in Africa. Do I think the media has to uh, has something to do with the way people view uh, poverty in the United States? Uh, absolutely, I do. I think that, that the media colors a lot of what we perceive um, in our lives. How frequently do the news networks try to explain and follow what, you know, how do people end up homeless? When was the last time you heard interviews with homeless people explaining how they ended up where they are? There's a lot of homeless people in America for four reasons. Uh, number one, unemployment. Number two, mental disability. They're not able to work. Number three, vices, alcoholism and drugs. And number four, some people just refuse to go out in the streets and look for jobs. Why are you here? I came to see Bobby Jones, the gospel singer. But I never seen him. I'm here because of the weather. I'm 54 years old and I got arthritis. I'm originally from Providence, Rhode Island. But the weather is too bad for me out there. Here in America, we're lucky enough to have uh, enough government spending to cover shelters for homeless people. So I believe the city of Nashville could do more for a homeless person.